Welcome to part 17 of Lost Future, the story so far. I know I've realized something. Nathan and the others visit a Riverside restaurant by the name of the Thames Arms. Luke. I know something about this YouTube play. I'll bring it up after the intro. Luke, read the line. There the bartender informs them that Future Children came by and that they just missed him. Uh, I have a question, but I'm not sure if I have to ask. Gotcha. Sure uh, uh, Intent on ending Future Legends' plan to create a time machine, the group head back to Chinatown. Alright then, go ahead, Tao. Uh, you're talking about a shapeshifter. What if he himself was the shapeshifter in disguise? Uh, yeah. you're on. Let's just say you're onto something, uh, Tao. Huh? Because I saw the trick done a lot of times. Oh, no, well, no, 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 no. Don Paolo is not uh, Future Layton, but you're onto something. Let, no, I'm not talking about Future I was talking about the barman. Oh, the barman. No, 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 the barman. No. Uh, trust me, we'll get back to the barman later. Oh, boy, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> Back again, I see. Mm -hmm. This guy is such yes. a cool boy. We heard that Mr. Layton had returned. That is not incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> then I assume you'll be letting us through? Probably not. Actually, he will, after a puzzle. Oh. Huh, I have no objection. Well, that's not entirely true. There is one minor issue left. Let me guess, mm. it's a puzzle. When the yeah. boss got back, he ordered me to not anyone through unless we solve this <laughs> motherfucking puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would it be, Layton? Fossil battle Fossil or puzzle? You, you, you see everybody, Dick Layton doesn't want just no any- No one has ever being passable game. Give it a try if you dare. Make it to the top and I'll let you pass. Slide Professor Layton and Luke into the top square to solve this puzzle. You, you see, you see, Teo, um... Dick Clayton doesn't want just anybody to waltz in over his evil fortress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he he took it. It took very. Uh, it, he had a lot of job putting this fortress together. Uh, he doesn't want anyone to just step on with their dirty shoes and shit. I mean, I mean, hell. Um, I think I think the character I've been playing throughout this commentary hasn't been um, Dick Clayton, but more like Angry Clayton. Ah, that tomato, tomato. Honestly, potato, <laughs> potato. Yeah. Whatever. Hmm. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yes, whatever. Okay. Okay, so, um, can, can we get through this part without doing a... No! Uh, uh, okay, okay. Professor! Uh, what? We're stuck! The, the yellow piece won't let us through! Um, but push it then, Luke. But Move the green piece. Uh, push it. <laughs> what? Move ah, it's a reference to Skullgirls. Yeah. What is it, Luke? We, professor, we need, we, if we move the yellow piece, we'll be able to move the other pieces. We have to think about this. Uh, well, I'm not in control of this, all right? Who the hell trapped us in the square anyway? Uh, uh, some some sick fuck. It is meant to be a lift. I I, I don't know. I, I... Also, there's a random cat going on running around. <laughs> random cat. Uh, Luke. Yeah, there's I, a random cat in the corner. Luke, I oh, think okay. that yellow square there is some sort of clue. Oh really, Professor? Oh, that's yes. right, the cat. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Oh great! Now we've made it worse. Uh, I'm guessing when Nagano designs the uh, the artwork for the puzzles, I'm guessing he always thinks, hmm, "What's well, like?" I Plays the most cat as possible. <laughs> no, 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 not so much cats. Like he puts random things. Remember that. Uh, that. Yeah, the, the dog uh, licking the paint or something. Yeah, he tends to. <laughs> okay, what can I do here to guess? Uh, Is to this guess? whole part gonna be you solving this one puzzle? No, don't worry, Dwebs. This entire part is gonna be me climbing the fortress. I already told you about that. You, 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 okay, come on, Dwebs. It's a dungeon. You can't just waltz in and immediately reach the final boss. Come on. I think I might have seen the game that I let you do that. Um. Castlevania 2. Yeah, not that. Screw Dungeons. Yeah, Screw Dungeons are overrated. <laughs> Alright, so... This is funny though, when I play Final Fantasy XIV, um, what do you have to do to go to a dungeon anyway? Do you have to be in a group? Uh, no, you have to use with your duty finder to insert your set in a list that basically, and then basically the servers combine your request. It's, it's like you feeling a request to be there. Then the server automatically uh, assigns you with other people that 
at, at in their in their PC they uh, sign on their own, and basically the the party is combined this way. Right. It's uh, randomly generated. That's what they say. If you end up with any French person, turn back immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you tell their French though? There we uh, go. They, they tend to chat a lot. There we in go. The chat. Okay. Darn it. I've got a good feeling about this one. Yes. Well, that's settled. Indeed. Yes, that is very settled. Incredible. You may now pass through the gate. Fuck. <laughs> and the cat you is amused. Shall now pass. Yep. All right. Mm, it seems the boss was right about you. You must be the one he's been waiting for. That's right. Oh. He's actually waiting for us. Does that mean we could enter? Indeed. Ah. Uh. Head down the street to the pagoda. I wouldn't keep him waiting if I were you. <laughs> Dick Layton gets really pissed when you make him wait. <laughs> By the way, he, when we get when we actually get to Dick Layton, who's going to voice him out of us? Uh, Jova will. Okay. The towering pagoda's not far now. The Layton from your time and the, the Layton oh. from the tie or time and the one from mine are finally going to meet. Face is Joker voicing Kinda, it, It's gonna be like a Ray Airy movie. <laughs> <laughs> Joy. They might, that might be tricky because our professor is not here. That's right, the professor went missing. Huh? <laughs> the, 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 the professor said, fuck Where's this. The professor? Dick Clinton <laughs> said, fuck uh. this, I'm not shooting the rest of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you just Hey, uh, Pedro, was um, Quiet, yeah. casting Jover as um, Dick Layton here a hint to something? Uh, mm. no, 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 mm. no, 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 not, 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 well, kinda, I guess, but, eh, don't, don't think about you, right? It doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Okay. He, he has a much different voice in the future, let's just say. Yeah. He was a bit well, of a by that point. I guess 10 years can change your voice. I think he <laughs> might have played right. you before he vanished. That's yeah. right, even later. Basically, let become vanish. more okay. American. Okay, so what happened to the professor? Apparently, he vanished. What? He vanished pretty quickly. Well, wait, don't, don't worry, don't, don't, wor don't worry, Taylor. They're going somewhere with this. Oh no, he was sucked in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. He was smiling as he dashed off, though. Yes, you are. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Dick Clinton said, okay, you know what? Oh, Fuck my. you. Fuck you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> Yes. I have no idea. The professor's actions always have some purpose. I hate this fucking script. I quit. Screw you guys. All right, I'm then going tie him up. All right, then he wants to quit, fellas. Tie him up and throw him. That in means you river. know what that means, right? Future Luke is not the hero of this game. <laughs> oh, sure. Yep. Oh, how embarrassing! Someone must be playing a trick on me. Kick me. That's what it's. Kick me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's something written on it. It's in the professor's handwriting. Okay, so so, here I, I, so, so basically, I went shopping. BRB. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, have Let's have a look. It says, "Go on, Go without. on without me." I'll catch I'll... up with you soon. Hmm. Let's just say the professor has so, a plan. Let's just say the professor the has professor a plan. The professor has no problem leaving these three. Actually, well, actually she might remember, Luke. Future Luke is taking care That's of them. Uh, there is an adult on Yeah, but he's still quite young, regardless of that. Mm. I agree! This well, is probably remember, the old Remember, she Roy, Luke is like around <laughs> 8, which means that uh, Future Luke is 18, so he already is a, technically an adult. Hmm. So, yeah. That's all very well, but... Um... But will one of Luke's please take this paper off my back? Yeah, no. a little help here. <laughs> Oh. I don't want Dick Layton kicking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what does this say? Kick me. Alright. Ah! Hey, what are you lot doing back here? <laughs> My nose is tingly. We're on our way to the towering pagoda. Not that it's any of your business. <laughs> Not so fast. You're the ones who went on the rampage in the casino, aren't you? Well, that was more so the gun. What if we are? What are you going to do about it? I love how cocky future Luke is. Yeah. <laughs> Puberty, you know how it is. Yeah. My bro jumped and give you a good hiding if you hadn't gone to the, spend a penny. 
Looks like we're in luck then, eh? We'll just be on our way now. You run off! I'll make sure Shelton squishes you like an ant when he finds you! Bring him on. We'll bear that in mind. Wait! I'm afraid! Um, solve this puzzle! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's just a puzzle out of nowhere. Yeah. He's trying to stall. Quick, break through his defenses. This photo, taken at the finishing line of a race, has been cut into strips and mixed up. Before it was cut, the photo displayed uh, professor, the runners remember, if you they finished the race. Remember, you're Which absent, of the runners remember? became third? Circle the letter that corresponds to your answer. Yes, I'm absent from being on screen. But in terms of, writing, in terms of narrating the puzzles, I can still... Oh my games. god, he's always looking over us. Oh, don't worry, Professor. It's not like <laughs> Professor. It's not like there'll be an entire chapter that won't have you in it. But yes, but uh, remember, <laughs> I, have two, I have two jobs. I'm the narrator of the puzzles, and I'm also playing the professor. Oh, really? Yeah. Have fun with Last Spectre in that regard, where Emmy uh, gets an entire what, chapter that for herself. Wrong. Uh, I was feeling random. Don't bother. Oh, sp speaking of that, um, I noticed you haven't uploaded any of our completed parts of um, the second game since um, ages Don't worry, ago. Professor. The uploader has been kind of busy recently, but uh, hopefully things will go better. Yes, things We're are getting, getting better getting now. Paid, Professor. Don't worry. And don't worry, Professor. We luckily have Catherine to stave off the audience for now. Don't worry, we'll let the audience and know. Nothing, 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 no, nothing can. Nothing. It also doesn't help that YouTube has lately been inconsistent as all fudge with uploading for me and for some reason. And, and, and who's and who's the idiot who puts up parts of the room game? Think of it. Think of it like that. Would be you. Think, think of it like this. Some British bloke. Think of it like this, Professor. It, it's a. Uh, we have an entire playthrough of Laura Bailey in a skimpy outfit. How, that can it can get better than that. <laughs> yeah, trying to seduce Troy Baker. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sure. Come on, you deep down, you know that you just love seeing Troy Baker everywhere. I. <sighs> <laughs> no, see the thing is, see the thing is, Tail. You have to admit there is a reason they have great chemistry together. I mean, there was I even a Game Informer magazine where Troy Baker himself basically lampshades about how awesome he is. <laughs> It's like he even said, soon I will upgrade the Troy Baker 2000 so I can replace even Nolan Nor. Hold on, I think he said something in here. Puzzling? Oh, no, no. I Never mind. Not. Well, again, he and Nolan North are doing Uncharted 4. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, good eye. Okay. So there was a point there. Photo finish. Blast! You solved it! Uh, oh, no! Solved another puzzle! God. Defense! We really don't have any more time for this silliness. We'll be heading to the pagoda now. <laughs> I, I, I love- he's doing this just for the sake of humiliating him. <laughs> <laughs> Fine! But remember, you got lucky! If my brother was here, <laughs> he'd be the one getting bossed around. <laughs> <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> Th this ain't over! Mark my words! Look at everyone's coming to you! Mwah! <laughs> oh, baby. Right. Anyway, let's press on. I hope we find the professor soon. Gee, Luke, it disappears just for one screen and you're already worried. Well, to be fair, this is a first run. The professor's never done this sort of thing before. True. Yeah. Uh, sorry to keep everyone waiting. There he is. Oh. Let's be off. Uh, okay. does lighting sound a bit different? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> It's Christopher Miller, don't worry, it's fine. I think I see what Dribs is going for. Sounds the same to me, whatever. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, thought, I thought the game was going to go for a um, someone who's trying to do a bad latent impression. No, 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 no. If anything, Dribs, uh, well, let's just say not yet. How about that? Okay, okay this is it. it. And somewhere up there is the future Professor Layton. Perhaps. Wow, Perhaps. the guy must be compensating for something with a tarot like that. Maybe more complex what? than we originally thought. Yes. Yes. Huh? Professor, I, I love, I love, is there something you're not telling us? I love the way he says, yes. Like, uh, um... Miller does a really great job. Like, I, I just love... I just love Miller's performance. Okay. Without a doubt. I suppose it would be too much to expect the door to be open. True. Let's see. The eyes of this dragon seem to be the key that unlocks this door. Oh, so it's like in South Park's Truth. 
<laughs> Quick, fuck South Park. Quick, shoot the eyes. Sounds like a puzzle. Let me handle it, Professor. Oh, the door open before you know it. The eye of the dragon. These dragon it's the eye done. The eye of the dragon. dragon. It's, it's the thrill of the puzzle. <laughs> that means both of them are 3D objects made of 12 pentagons. The one of the eyes is already made. The other one still needs to be assembled. Are you Which the Mandarin? A, B, or C <laughs> will create an eye that's exactly the same as the other one when folded together. The... You'll never see me coming. By, by, by the way, so um... the Mandarin is giving us the puzzle. By the way, Dandy. Dandy. Question. Uh, yeah. um, do you uh, do you know who's the current voice of Espio? Uh, no. Troy Baker. Uh, Troy you, Baker! I told that yesterday, yeah, uh, but, uh, but I forgot already. Oh, you, oh, I don't think I did, but fine. But the point, the point is... Uh, oh, no, it's it's the, the part of Catherine I heard uh, while I was uh, uh, naming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, okay, oh, I, uh, here's an interesting thing to you. Um, somebody uploaded the one cutscene where he does have those lines, basically the line where let he... Let me guess, using Source Filmmaker with the models of SPO. No, 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 it's just the cutscene itself. That's all it is. And uh, Troy Baker, uh, and of course, uh, the, and the line Aspio gets is, Thank you, my friend. To be fair, because I saw the soul of our enemy, and I saw Finally. only darkness. And the voice is so cool that uh, the, someone actually commented uh, on the video saying, Who voices Aspio here? God? <laughs> 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 well, 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 yeah, I, well, yeah, well, I, yeah. well, his SPO <laughs> voice is pretty fucking kick-ass. Come on, <laughs> seriously, yeah. tale, listen to yeah. it. It's yeah. pretty Troy awesome. Baker. It takes a mighty. Yeah, Troy Baker is the founder to have the best voice actor for SPO. Uh, to me, I mean, no, to me, no offense. No, to me, he is yeah. the best voice actor uh, in the industry right now. Honestly, I just I can't think of a bad performance out of him. Like, he's just awesome. Anyway, go ahead. There's no time to celebrate. Let's head inside. Indeed. Oh, hello, parrot. Mm. <coughs> wow, isn't this such incredibly Chinese sounding music? Yeah, so the, 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 the typical Chinese accordion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's this contraption, Professor? Is this that Chinese accordion I've heard about? It is to be a peculiar set of goggles. It's Google Glass. Along with the Chinese violin. Yeah. I think they're too big for me. Let's see. Ah, this is some sort of personal projection device. Powered so by science. Yes. But, uh, I'm not even kidding. Uh, but that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, meet personal Professor what? Late Say No. Think of it as a late as a television for one, Luke. Only the wearer can see the image displayed inside. Yeah. I'd wait until the puzzle in these goggles are only oh the wearer God, can see. Professor, Stop Professor. interrupting my rights! <laughs> are you saying that your fears are self made Oculus Rift? Probably, this is probably the only way to get through this door. Ah, wow, late and actually stooped Oculus Rift. Now that's high tech! They should fit me comfortably. Let's have a look. Indeed. Hmm. All right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking boy. <laughs> what do you see? What do you see, right, Professor? Right. Glasses make you look like a bug, a robot bug. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 to be fair, Professor, you do look pretty cool, Damon. You you're sure you great. You're just coming into focus here. India. <laughs> <laughs> You'd do great in court with those. Okay. Strange, Strange glasses. glasses. These two circular images show what you're seeing for your left and right eyes. The images were originally the same, but one of them has now been flipped right, left, and rotated an unknown amount. The shapes are all the same as in the original image, with the exception of one which has been slightly altered. Circle the shape that's been altered. So basically, it's about observation. And Luke, stop messing with the glasses. So yeah, it's about observation. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I love the, um, I love the image in the back. It works. <laughs> If, uh, Let's see, if I do this over here... Shh, well done, Luke. You've turned it into a... you turned it into the best telly ever. And so now it looks anime -esque, then? Um, actually, no, you turned it onto BBC One. Um, and and, oh, and, right! And Flora, Twist it again. And Flora's just confused. There you go. Um, is, it yeah. the, is it the moon? Luke, you've taught, you put on ITV. Do it again. Uh, it's, All right. it's not the moon, Shiro. Uh, Whoa, what the fuck? Uh, channel 4? Um, next. 
Oh no, that's <laughs> this channel four chan. That's channel five. Oh my god, they turned into Fox News. No. That's that's channel channel four chan. That's just what channel five is. <laughs> oh, oh, how about this? Here's Fox News. No. 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 Luke, you put on Sky Sports News. Okay. Oh, on. wait. Here's even worse. No, Here's wait, no, FIFA. Hold on, um, hold on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yes. I can hear you. Okay. We're, we're just staying along with this joke. I know, I know. It's just that the, the call seems um, a bit how wonky is for me. It? I think um, it's fine. Oh, no, no, we can hear you. Oh, Luke. Oh, thank you, Luke. You've put on Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Great. Just be sure to end uh, end the stream before you reach the ending. I've already seen the movie, but um, I can still enjoy what came before, can't I? Mm -hmm. Age of Tomorrow. What movie was that? The Tom it was Cruise. It, it, it's, Tom it's, it's, it's Tom Cruise dying over and over. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, don't you mean Edge of Tomorrow? Yeah. That's what you said. That's what I said. It sounds like Age of Tomorrow to me. Edge. Eh, whatever. Let's see if Edge. Edge is right. Yeah, basically, you can you can watch it either to see Tom Cruise be awesome, or That's Tom it. Cruise dying over and over, depending on how you feel about him. Terrific. <laughs> the answer is... The answer is C. G. It's easy to be fooled by the flipping, but if you pay attention to the relationship between the series and the axis, the answer is pretty easy to find. Indeed. Okay, okay, okay. You know, I'll admit... Professor, those glasses do a cool on you after a few minutes of me giggling. I love how the glasses are blinking and shit. Ah! Ah! First aid! Get them off! Get them off! Phew! Oh. What a relief to take those off. I was feeling all lightheaded and I was having trouble focusing. I was falling asleep. Wow! Because of Thursday! Did you see that bad a movie? Yes. But it was all worth it! Thanks to you, the doors unlocked! And we're free to move on! Why does that now, put just phone... don't watch Supertard. Why does that put telephones always ringing during our commentaries? <laughs> I have no I idea. Know. It's so gloomy! And there are dragons all over the place. Oh my god, the dragons finally appeared! Finally! Right, no wieners! So, you're the one who's been bullying my brother Barmy. You're gonna pay for that. Yes, beat him, beat, beat him, Jelton, beat him, beat him. That's right, he's calling his big brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, look who went crying to the older boys. What an imp impressive act of bravery. Fuck you! Your eyes. You? Oh, what was so I supposed that? to do back there? But I was on the other Yeah, and I'm you're still I'll tell you. Can't count. What are you, Microsoft's best? There, there, I understand. You're only small, and you knew you had no chance of stopping us. Time wow. to use So, you're getting this big lump here to do the dirty work for you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sticks and stones, sunshine. I don't like that. Believe you me, sir. What's the loud violence in the pagoda? I'd have pounded you already. Huh. Since I can't do that, I'll have to sock at you with this precious puzzle. Of course. Bring it. Would you like me to deal with this one, Big Luke? Oh yeah. Now who's going crying to the big boys? Don't trouble yourself with this piece of riffraff, Professor. I can handle anything he disses off. You, what was that you were saying about me? Great. <laughs> All right, I'll tell it to you. Two criminals want to use this board to steal off the cave where they store their smuggled goods. If they cut the board into two pieces of identical size and shape, they'll be able to seal the cave entrance completely. Draw lines on the board to indicate where it needs to be cut. And how I, love, I, love how last future, I love how I love how by last future puzzles are pretty much in and of themselves confrontations. Yeah. I mean, seriously, they're like the main bad guy's use of defense against you. It's like, well, if you don't well, solve all my puzzles, you'll never get rid Well, it depends in the case. Like, uh, in here, it's because, as uh, Chapman said, uh, Future Latham doesn't allow fighting <clears throat> in the Towering Pagoda. Uh, in the casino, they oh, somebody know. actually, you know, uh, hurt Future Luke, remember? So, there, 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 there can be violence. There can be violence, but the, but Hino is trying to send off the message that the brain is more powerful than the fist with, the, with these games, so... True. I mean... I mean, heck, even in the part with violence, we used our brains to build a machine gun! 
at Basi a casino okay. puzzle. Basically, this is a basic geometry puzzle. It's very easy, even for people like me who don't like geometry. Basically, it's a matter of cutting in a way that you can make two shapes which are the same number of squares. Two equal shapes. So... By the way, Pete. Go ahead. By the way, Paige, since we were talking earlier about YouTube, have you been noticing any issues with the upload rates? Because like, uh, yeah, I know, reason, I, I know. For me, it's fine. I don't really know. Sorry, for me, it's fine. I know. For me, though, for some reason, the upload rates have been going crazy. That's sort of what's stagnated some of my process outside of Raws, and even Raws are taking a while. Sometimes it takes so long. To... Eh? Oh no, sorry, you, you finished them. No. Oh, what I was talking about, sure, is like basically how long it takes to upload something. Because, like, well, sometimes even so much as a 30 or 40 minute raw will take like an hour or so. A 20 minute raw almost can ever since they so changed, almost ever since they changed the the original upload um, method, I've been having issues like that. Ah, mm. uh, YouTube. Like Why? it can take at least it can take at least one hour, three hours, depending on how. Bad it is. Fortunately, I still. It hasn't, for, fortunately, it still hasn't happened to me. So. Me neither. How how do you guys luckily escape these updates? Because we have I've got fiber optic broadband. Well, so uh, so that's somehow stops you from getting the YouTube updates. I think maybe okay. if I clear out my well, hard actually, drive away, well, actually, I, Jova, I'll think a little well, bit. actually, Jova, I, I, I don't know. I'll try anything. Well, actually, Jova, <laughs> my fi my Firefox plugin of the Flash video pl that forces the to use the Flash video player does prevent me from using the new player that everybody hates. So maybe that's uh, something to do I with it. I wish I'd known about. I wish I'd known about that then. Maybe I should use. Well, Firefox. keep in mind, I, Jova. I keep in mind, Jova. I don't know if that's it. It might not be. Well, it sounds like it's stopping the updates. Okay, basically the way YouTube works is like, well, if you update your your video player, you are gonna have to update the entire YouTube system. So it sounds like you don't have to deal with a lot of the stupid updates. Train. This whole room is covered in mirrors. This is why, in general, with software, I cannot stand updates because when something works, it just works. Just keep it as it is. There's no reason to just do random updates for absolutely no reason. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, seriously, slower updates are part of the reason why I've stagnated on some of my uploading processes. It's like, it it used to be just fine, How do you think no. we should proceed, yeah. Big Luke? Never mind, I shouldn't rant too Worms much. Worms and things <laughs> about YouTube, part affinity, I hope. <laughs> Maybe we have to press a hidden panel on the walls to open the door. Close, but not quite. If my, I guess it's correct. The door is hidden in the dark over there. <sighs> but we can't just rush headlong into the shadows. There's no telling what traps await us there. True. You're right, we can't just go in guns blazing. Now can we, Professor? <sighs> <laughs> Ah, now I see what you're getting at. Are you saying that this room is a puzzle, Professor? The room itself is a puzzle. That's yes. right, Luke. And I'm about to solve our way out of here. Indeed. Interesting. Here we go. Oh, you of, uh, reminds me of those Ace Attorney attractions at Joypolis. Sixteen <laughs> circular rooms are arranged in a square as shown below. Beams of light shine in straight lines from each of the four letters, A, B, C, and D, and exit for the four yellow arrows. Two-sided mirrors in four of the rooms reflect these beams. Each beam passes through the number of rooms listed next to its letter. Identify which four rooms contain mirrors and the direction each mirror faces. Touch, touch the rooms to add or remove mirrors and change their direction. Okay. So yeah, like they said, we have to make the uh, the, the lights uh, get out through the set arrows that they say. You know, to do that, we have to place uh, puzzle uh, mirrors accordingly. Shiroi and Teo, remember that puzzle in Adventures of Viperman where we had to direct mirrors to direct reflection yeah. and shit? So basically, mm -hmm. this is a more complex version of that. Okay. Okay. All right then. <laughs> Okay, so basically, mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 we, we were taught about that in Hyperman, so I won't ask Shiro and Teo. Uh, uh, Devs and Java, how's your uh, light uh, reflection physics knowledge? Uh, oh, I'm pretty good at this. Basically, crap. okay, basically the way, well, do you want to know the, the, um, the equations with reflection and reflection as well as variation and verticalation? Go ahead. All right, then. Now, the way refraction works is like, well... Um, refraction of light is basically the bending of a wave as it enters the medium where its speed is different. So basically, when you want to try and measure the speed of sound, or I mean the speed of light, you want to do it with C. 
C is basically the measure of 300 times VF. VF, V being the velocity and F being the frac... the fracture. <clears throat> it seems my theory was right. This way, everyone. Indeed. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright. Hey. Mm -hmm. Let's keep climbing. The washing machine will not to... beat me. I will stick through the rest of this part. When did this become an Atlas <laughs> game? Yep, yep, yep. I'm yep. <laughs> Well, yet, uh, considering it's a it's a crawling of a tower, I would say it's more like an um, Atrian Odyssey kind yeah. of game. <laughs> anywho, 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 basically we measure refraction in nanometers, so of course... The like... professor's quarters are probably on the other side of that door. There we go, mm -hmm. we're almost there. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, and also the Pythagorean theorem is also used when you're um, when you're measuring the angle. Do you so we can talk more about that later. theorem, Jova? Yes, yes, Pythagoras theorem. We also call it that as well. Does anyone else think this floor looks like a giant sliding block puzzle? Yep. Hmm. Well done, Captain Floor Obvious. The basically, uh, I don't think it's that obvious, Professor. An astute observation, Flora. It seems the floor of this room is yet another puzzle for us to solve. Yeah, I remember Paige, oh, Dick Layton oh, okay, is sorry. very, um, oh, okay, yeah, I, I know, I was talking to Dick Layton himself. Yes. The future Layton loves to keep things dramatic, doesn't he? <laughs> when we got this is a best that does seem to be the case. Well, let's get started on this puzzle. Ooh, I've managed, I've managed not to nod off in a while. Yeah, I know. You're less of a dick than you used to be. Ooh, I, well, better change well, that, well, that, I better change that quick then. Well, that's what the future version of his is, is There's here. There's only to one way to get across for. this room. In order to proceed, you have to work out how to put the four pieces of the dragon walkway back together. The spiked ball can also be moved freely. But don't not... touch it, otherwise you'll end up like Lara Croft in Tomb Raider. <laughs> let's, also oh. not, let's also not forget, Jova, that uh, yeah. Layton has There's been... So any of them. Let's also, let's, let's also forget, Joe, but that in this particular game, there's been there's been something uh, bothering the professor in, in, internally um, involving a certain lady. I know. That's Actually, sort of I'll, I'll go turn it off. That puzzle's yes. still going on. Go ahead. <coughs> Basically, the rest of this part is me solving this puzzle because this one is quite uh, a, a brain teaser. I like it. Oh no, no, of course, like, uh, that's just how I am. Like, I love puzzle games, so obviously I love this kind of stuff. I I'm, I I'm perfectly aware that uh, these kind of games are oh, not... Oh, I get it. These kind of games are actually... I, I was actually very surprised when the first Layton game sold over 5 million units, because this is not the kind of game that sells that much. So I was really surprised. It was, I mean, you can argue, well, it was probably because of the story and the art and the music and shit. Yeah, true, but there's still a lot of puzzle making involved. So I was, uh, I still think it's really surprising that it sold that much. Well, remember, the well, DS was, one of the main attractions of, of the DS was using it as a puzzle-solving console. Mm -hmm. Like, where there was a lot of high pro games like Brain Training uh, or... Um, uh, those other educational sort of game. Yeah, but so go ahead. The, the, this kind of fit into the, into the genre, I mean, at least what people believe. So I guess that's why it sold a lot. True. Not to mention the fact, Pedro, that part of the reason it did so was like, oh, they were selling it on the advertisement that it was based off of Ace Attorney and Sherlock Holmes, two mediums that people are really into. And of course, at the time, Ace Attorney had. As yeah, that, that, far that's as a do, more, oh, that's silly, Jova. That's a more interesting question to me. How did the Ace Attorney series manage to sold a lot from nowhere? Well, well because uh, it's awesome too. I well, mean, that's come actually. On. If... Uh, yeah. I know, but people knew absolutely almost nothing about visual novels back in the day. Allow me to bring up the history for that. Actually, it was a complete shot in the dark. Well, yeah, maybe allow me because to... of critical acclaim. I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, it was actually sort of the thing like, well, it was a game where you played as an attorney. It's like, well, that was kind of literally the first sort of game we ever got about that. Now, here's how it went. At first, the game wasn't selling well, but then word of mouth got around about, hey, you know, there's actually a game where you play as, you know, a lawyer, and it's actually awesome. So then people started to buy them, and then Capcom ran out of production, so they had to restock it. And they restocked it. And restocked it, and restocked it, and and restocked the rest it. is history. Ace Attorney became quite popular to the point where Ace Attorney, even to this day, is one of Capcom's more popular franchises. It's sort of because, like, well, um, at the time, people never imagined that something as mundane sounding as you playing as just a lawyer in court 
would somehow be made awesome. Well, that's what I thought, and the fact that it was a visual novel kind of turned me off, but I really love the series. Yeah. How ironic yeah. that two of the most powerful, um, yeah. How ironic that two of the most successful Capcom franchises are relegated nowadays on portable consoles. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other he's, being he's Monster Chinese. Hunter. Yeah, he's a ten. He's always been on. Um... Yeah. Yeah, but the other I meant, the other okay. is Monster Hunter. Yeah. Unless you're counting Weave. Also, Unless you're counting the Wii port, but yeah. Also, but Jova. Yeah, they... to, also, Jova. I silly you. Uh, uh, it's, uh, Western people don't like Sherlock Holmes. I mean, why would we ever localize a game with Sherlock Holmes in it? That's just silly. Yeah. I mean, seriously, it's not like Sherlock Holmes has any presence in, like, America or the UK. Guys, remember my rules. Fine. But professor, but professor, but professor, but professor, but professor, you said that referencing Ace Attorney. You said that referencing Ace Attorney is just fine. It's the case in Jova, he doesn't care. Clark is over anyway. I tried to read my lines here, I do get inside dropped by Capcom Politics. Now shut up! Capcom Politics. Alright everybody, in the next part, we finally face future Layton. Yes, I finally get to see a... How much of a dick I really am. See everybody. <laughs> oh, I mean, or is it even you at all? See everybody. See it.